Hi guys and welcome back to Bonaire Arts Education and Training. Today we're here with another tip, well it's not really exactly a tip, but it's just a bit of a information that will lead on to later tips coming up. So today we're going to focus on performing arts and what is performing arts? The reason why I want to focus on this question is because so many people have one set mindset on what performing arts is um, and I just kind of want to open your mind a bit further to think of all the things that can come from performing arts. I've gone through it before in my um, Welcome to BAET video, um, which I'll put below in a link. And um, yeah, I just want to go into a bit more detail about it. So hopefully this helps you. Here I have the Oxford Dictionary, well, Oxford Living Dictionary, according to Google. Um, on what performing arts is and I will put that link as well down below in the description if you want to look for yourself and it says performing arts is or are forms of creative activity that are performed in front of an audience such as drama music and dance so that's the usual conclusion that everybody generally comes to oh so you do performing arts yes that's drama dance and and musicals and singing or something like that right so I wanted to clarify that it's not just drama, it's not just dance, and it's not just singing. It's, there's so much more to it. Here, it gave an example. You know how the dictionary always gives that extra little piece of examples that, just to make you understand what the word actually means. And this example says, to go for two subjects, technology and performing arts, is unusual as schools usually focus on just one. Now that's kind of, I know it's an example, but generally I want to speak about that. I want to speak about technology and performing arts. Now for me, performing arts is anything that is called an art, right? Put together to create a great performance piece, right? So well, I, I would agree with the terminology that it used in terms of in front of an audience because it can't really be a performance if you're not doing it to someone right and there's always a debate that you're always performing in life because you're always trying to leave an, an impression on somebody else so that's another way of looking at you know what performance is and what performing arts is um, but when I studied at uni we found that performing arts wasn't just about drama and and um, singing and dancing. It included so much more like technology, hence why I wanted to focus on that particular quote. We also looked at music tech and how this would influence our performance. And one word that we learned as well was intermediality. If you have a time, if you have time, look it up and find out. It talks about all the different arts. So we've got arts and crafts, singing, dance, um, musical theatre, all of these things coming together to create this one amazing piece and using them to create your art. So I don't know, um, I can only speak on one of the performances that I did as a performing artist. Um, I did a piece based upon my um, life and growing up as a child. So I had a movement piece in front with some imagery and the imagery was a table tied up with um, pieces of thread and almost like a web, like a spider web, and I could not move from that table. And I was just dancing and doing movements around that table. And in the background, I had a projection of all my childhood pictures and childhood vid videos. And the whole purpose was the link. What is the link between what, I, what you're visually seeing in terms of physically here and now in this time and what you're seeing on a screen? How is the relationship between the two? And that to me is what performing arts is. Using stuff like technology, using video, photography, using arts and crafts like I did with the string um, and using my body to make movements like dance and um, words, writing, all of these skills to come together and create an amazing performance piece. That to me is performing arts because yes, we have performance that is something that is done in front of an audience, like I said before, performing every day of our lives. But we also have the word art connected to that, which is anything that is an expression of your creativity. That can be down to painting, handwriting, spoken word, 
singing, songwriting, anything that creates an emotion, a feeling, something that we can connect to as an audience, I put that under the umbrella of performing arts. So just want to let you know that's not a, a set definition, but I wanted to speak about how I relate um, the world to what performing arts is. So take that with you, think about it, and if you've got any comments or any thoughts on that, please feel free to leave them in below. Um, hopefully that helped you guys and hopefully we can do more tips on performing arts soon. So all the best. Thanks so much for tuning in and thank you for your support. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and see you soon for the next tip. Bye.